Well, hello and welcome to ET Info, where I bring you information on emerging technologies in IBM. My name is David Barnes, and I'm joined today by Michael Orn. Michael is the person in charge of creating Lotus mashups, which, if you're familiar with any of my previous videos, I showed a lot of QED Wiki, creating mashups, the value of mashups. We're going to do a little something different here today. We want to look at the beta is just about to ship. Some of it has already. We'll talk about that. But um, I want to look at how to get started with the beta and where to go from there. So this is different from my previous videos. The first thing I want to mention, though, Michael, or question I want to ask, I did a lot of QED Wiki stuff in the past. People may have seen that. What's the difference between what we see here with Lotus Mashups and what you did with QED Wiki or what we did with QED Wiki? Well, it's going after the same problem space, uh, clearly. Uh, the QED Wiki was an emerging technology that uh, the team, including yourself, learned as you went and incrementally built up uh, a technology. Well, when we started Lotus Mashups about a year ago, we sat down with a team to find out what worked and what didn't work and re-engineered what, what needed to be re-engineered for the purpose of making a product, making it scalable, but while still meeting the same business need, which is to give a uh, tool that's very easy to use to the business user. Okay, so take the lessons that were learned. In fact, I like to call it not just proof of concept, but proof of value. Mm -hmm. We found out customers liked it. Yes. We found out it was valuable. And then what we built there was pretty much, uh, it was very lightweight, very powerful, but very lightweight. And so you've essentially industrialized it, productized it, built it up for the enterprise? That's right. This, uh, this is to be sold into enterprises, an enterprise product. Yet, we want to make it very simple to use for the business users. That, right. Those are the two priorities for us. And I, it's always been a challenge, but I think the mashups are the one thing they're going to be able to bridge the gap. I right? hope so. So, as I mentioned, I don't want to necessarily go through the how-to yet. First thing I want to do is start chronologically. What do you do when you get the download of the beta, which will be shipping soon? Now, what I'm going to show you here may not be the exact beta code. We want to get this video out before the beta ships, so there may be some differences between them. Yes. But I downloaded, in this case, maybe about 700 meg. I'm going to go through the install of that. In fact, let me open up. I unzipped it. I am uh, looking right here at a very simple set of files in a directory. There's one install.bat. I'm going to guess at that one. Double click on it. I'll close this folder so I don't have to look at it. And then we go with IBM Mashup Center. Now, that appeared rather quickly on the screen, but let me stop and ask Mashup Center. We said Lotus Mashups. What's Mashup Center? Ah, so IBM Mashup Center is a combined offering from uh, the brand of Lotus, Lotus Mashups, and Infosphere Mashup Hub okay. coming from Information Management. So we'll get into Mashup Hub in a little while, but essentially this is more than just one effort within IBM. It's We'll call it cross software group. Yes. Okay. And let's get into. You know, let's go after the mashup hub a little later. Let's do that. Uh, yep. Let's start with the mashups. Uh, mashups, and we'll. Um, this is what people are going to see first. Right. And then we'll drill back and see what's behind it. Terrific. So, all I did was launch the install. The next thing is uh, welcome to the IBM Mashup Center installation wizard. Thank you for the welcome. Um, I'm going mm -hmm. to do incredible speed reading. Watch my power. I just read the terms and conditions, and so I will accept the terms and conditions here, select next, and I'm going to take the default. It's uh, Program Files, IBM Mashup Center. I'll go ahead and select next, and let's see, it already did a prereq check, which was pretty quick. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to give it a creative administrator name of admin. Usually I go by, by the way, David, or David, because uh -huh. see, where are you from? Um, yes. Oh, no, no, Dav. Dav, you're <laughs> Dav. Swedish, aren't uh -huh. you? Yes. Dav is so much cooler than Dave. So uh, I'm going to go with a uh, password of admin to what the heck. And it looks like it's going to take about 1.5 gig here. And I know that'll change when the mashup uh, center finally ships in its real beta. I click install, and off we go. So here, in fact, it says installing WebSphere application server. Yes, what we do here is we want to make it as simple as possible for the user. So we lay down everything that's required to run this. There's no prerequisites required. We lay down a Java virtual machine, we lay down a WebSphere application server, we lay down a, a Derby uh, database, and then Lotus Mashups code, Infosphere, Mashup Hub, all in one install. Okay, so 
I really need nothing. I know I don't need anything else on my system because I installed this from scratch with nothing. And all I really needed was my browser, right? That's right. Uh, you can uh, we can use uh, Firefox. Mm -hmm. We also are uh, testing this against Safari 3 as well as IE 7. Sweet, because I am a Mac user too, and I like the Safari thing. But yes. I know f from my previous experience with development is that Firefox is probably the best thing as a sure bet for now. We've done. We started with the Firefox in the development, okay. and uh, so that is the the one browser that is the the strongest at this moment. Okay. However, over the next few weeks, we're going to go on and make okay. sure all so three of them work. So I think uh, fair for any beta. If you're checking it out and you've got a little what what, and you're not sure if it's working correctly, drop into Firefox, and you might find that there's some little glitch there. It's going to be the highest probability. The highest probability. So yes. it'll work a little bit later on in the beta afterwards. Yes. So if we take a look back here, we are just finishing up the install, and we can go on to the next steps from here. Like I said, it looks like we're finished with the installation, and let's see where we're at from here. Congratulations, you've ex successfully installed IBM Lotus Mashup Center. First steps provide easy access to product pages. So I'm going to take this choice, uh, launch first steps, and see where it takes me from here. And okay, here we are. Welcome to Mashup Center first steps. I'm going to go ahead and select Work with Mashup Center. Now, I've got a couple of different things here, by the way. I can do administrative tasks, and what's that going to do for me? Well, this is, takes you into the WASP console, actually. So you can go in and add users. Uh, you can uh, stop and start the servers you see on here. These are things that you may want to use once you get a little bit more used to the product, but for starters, when you evaluate it, you don't need to go I don't need to do any of that. So really, this is, yeah, application server administration. Yes. I saw there's information resources, which is mm -hmm more information about the beta, but really the only thing I need to do is work with Mashup Center. And in this case, like we said, we're going to leave the Mashup Hub for a little later. Launch Lotus Mashups. Um, it sets me up with a local host. And from there, I'm just going to go off and launch into my browser. We had a password and a user ID, both of admin, which I would never recommend in the real world. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and select sign in. Remember this, and boom, I think we're launching off into it. So what I would love to do now is take a break, come back, we've looked at the installation, then we can take a look at the user interface. You can give us a little drive around on your machine because nobody touches my computer. <laughs> and we'll see Fair where enough. we go from here. Fair so enough, let's do that. Okay, terrific, we'll be right back.